guys, I am back to film my Reading Rush 2020 TBR. Um, I feel like I haven't done TBR for a readathon in a very, very long time, but I love the Reading Rush, so I definitely wanted to participate in uh, this round. Uh, this round is taking place from the 20th through the 26th, I believe, of July. Uh, the hosts, once again, are Ariel and Raylene. I will leave all the information down below for anyone who is interested in participating. And just like before, they have um, challenges for the readathon. So I picked a lot of manga this go around just because I do actually work that week. So manga is easier to read than full length books. So yeah. And my notebook here with all my information is there. So that's why you see that off in the corner. But anyways, let's get going. So the first challenge is uh, read a book that has the color of your birthstone on it. And my birthstone, my birth month is March, and my birthstone is aquamarine, which is like a really pretty light blue. So I figured this should be pretty easy. I feel like there's a lot of manga with light blue on it, and there was. So I ended up picking the second volume of Blue Flag, Blue Flag is a, like, kind of like a love square shoujo, uh, where there are two high school students that are falling for each other, however, their same-sex best friends have already fallen for each other, so it's, yeah, it'll be interesting. I really enjoyed the first volume, so I'm looking forward to reading the second one. The next prompt is a book that starts with the tight with the word the. This was kind of hard to find through manga. I picked one that's a big boy, but it was like the only manga that I had in my full collection that started with the. And it was The Rose of Versailles. So I've had this sitting there for a while. I just haven't gotten to reading it because it's a big boy. And I just, I've been lazy about reading the really big ones. So I'm not sure like how many this hard deluxe hardback volume contains the first 22 chapters. I have no clue how much that equates to volumes, but I'll figure it out. But that is the one that I'm going to be reading for that prompt. The next one is read a book that inspired a movie. Okay. We're kind of using anime because yeah, that's just how it is. And I have absolutely no clue if the manga was first or the anime was first. But it was one of the ones on my shelf that actually had an anime. So I just went with it and we're just going to do it. And it is what it is. So it is the seventh volume of Snow White with the Red Hair. This is a series about a girl who is a herbalist. She's famous for her, like, red hair, and the prince of the kingdom that she lives in, like, wanted to, like, kind of claim her for himself, so she ran away, and she got rescued from the, with, from, by the prince from the neighboring kingdom, Zen, and it began, like, it's like their love story of getting together, and it's super cute, and I very much enjoyed it, so we'll continue on with that one. The next one that I picked is read the first book you touched. Okay, so, I mean, this is so up to interpretation. I just touched this because this was a book that I wanted to read for the reading rush. And that's the only prompt it fit with. So we're going with it. And this is the actual only book on this list. So I'm reading A Blade So Black. This is the Tell It Again book club pick. Uh, Shay and I talked and we kind of actually evened it out perfectly where our buddy reads kind of aligned where we finished our last book the day the day before the reading rush so we were trying to pick a book that we could read together during the reading rush and we still needed to read the book because tell it again end of the month is coming so this would be the one book that we are going to that I'm going to read during the reading rush and here's my tibbies so Here's that. Um, the next one is prompt five is read a book completely not in your house. 
So once again, obviously I wanted to pick especially a longer for this because it's hot as freaking for outside and I don't want to sit outside too long because it's like the only time I can read. I guess I could take this book with me to work and read it at work. Maybe I'll do that. Is uh, Love Me, Love Me Not, the second volume. I do also have the third one that just came out this month, but we'll just stick with the second one. And maybe if I feel like, oh my gosh, I need to read the next one like right now, I'll also add it in. Um, this is Love and Friendship Have Become Quite Complicated for These Four Friends. Yuna has fallen in love with Rio, but he has feelings for Kari that he's never been able to express. Well, Yuna keeps his secret, Akari makes a move on the person she's interested in. So, yeah, it's a, you know, chitter. <laughs> it's got one of those tropes that I don't really like the best, but Shay's warrant has told me that it ends, well, this volume, like, it, they, they figure it out in a way that's not cringeworthy, we'll say that. So there is that. Um, the next one is read a book that is one of your least read genres. So continuing with the manga theme, I picked like one of the few shonens that I actually read because frankly I read a lot of shoujo and I don't read much of anything else. So I picked the next volume in the Record of the Grand Crest Wars, volume 6. This is, um, in a world where the noble elite are supposed to fend off the threat of terrifying chaos, but instead to engage in pointless, petty squabbles, young mage, the young mage and her knight dream of bringing justice to the land. So it's kind of like a political trying to free their kingdom and things like that. It's interesting. It's kind of like on my fence, but I just end up like keep picking up volume. So apparently I'm invested enough to keep going in it. So there's that. And the next one is books set in a different continent than the one you live in. Okay, so most of these could work regardless because Japan. But I was trying to be like, okay, the obvious one for manga is to just be like, read any of them because they're set in Japan. So I was trying to find a manga that was not actually set in Japan. And here we go. So this is Go With Clouds North by Northwest, the third volume. Oh, where is the set? It's... I am gonna have to... I, it's been like a hot minute since I read the, um, the last volumes. I don't remember where it's set. But it's definitely not the U.S. It's like... It's, I don't know. Sweden? Switzerland? something. I'll look it up and put it on the top of the screen. It's just really been a long time since I read it, so hopefully I'll ac actually remember what happened, but I kept having trouble finding those volumes for some reason. Like, like usually I would get my volumes of manga from Books A Million, but for some reason I can't seem to, like, find this one at Books A Million, so I'm not sure if they just don't sell it or what, but I ended up having to get that one off of Right Stuff. But yeah, that is everything that I'm going to be reading for the Reading Rush 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this TBR video. Uh, just so you know, the wrap-up will probably be late. <laughs> so the end of the month, my brother is coming home to stay for two weeks. And I film in the room that used to be my brother's room, so clearly he'll be staying in his guest room. Um, so he will be staying here, so I will not have a filming location for two weeks. So I probably won't be able to film until like August again. I mean, I guess I could try and film in my room, but I feel like the lighting is shit. So I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm going to try and obviously film some things so that I have some stuff to put up the two weeks that is here. If I don't, well then there might be a video that was missed or not. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, that is why this wrap-up will probably be late. But I'll at least get it up before it's the 20th, so there's that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys later for the next one. Everyone have a very good rest of the day. Bye! <laughs>